Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to another Monday Night Market Watch. You may notice again that we're in that weird setup. Unfortunately, we do share a house with other people, so sometimes I have to yield in how I'd like to do things. Of course, that's why we have this weird light, and you can see all these shadows going on back here. Thank you very much for joining me. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome aboard. Hopefully, you'll subscribe and stay along with us. If this is not your first time on the channel, I wonder why you're back, because we produce absolute fucking garbage. In any case, thank you very much for coming along. Hopefully, you're going to enjoy the ride. We are here again to do the Euro slash UK market watch. We take a look at the prices this side of the pond to see how things are getting on. Uh, and we'll have conversion rates up on the screen for you. But I'm going to stop waffling. We're going to get stuck in. Primarily this week, we are going to be looking at the impact that the Megatins have had. And, of course, a few other select cards that have been requested of me. So quickly before we get started, of course, I would like to apologize if there are any crazy noises in the background. As I say, I'm living in a shared accommodation, so therefore there are other people in the house, and lo and behold, whenever I need to record, they get nice and noisy. But that's enough waffling on, let's get stuck in, shall we? So we start off with the big talking point, of course, the Megatin release, and we're seeing Red Eyes Dark Dragoon here. The prices have yo-yoed up and down. They are sat at a solid 34 euros or so for a pickup. I think that this is an insane card. I played with it today for the first time. Um, this is being recorded on the 29th, by the way, and this is absolutely wild. Um, good players will hold on and summon this out when they've either got no other choice or or they'll summon this when they're set up to protect it, and usually that puts them in an insane position. Being able to pop two cards, burn your opponent, uh, being able to negate things is just absolutely wild. This card is worth every bit of hype that you can imagine. So I think even at 34 euros a pop, I do think this will come down very slightly. However, I still think this is a good price to consider picking it up at. Next up, we're taking a look at Phantasme. What I am going to do with these is I'm going to compare them to the other printings so you can get an idea of what the price change points are like and then decide that if this is something that you want to pick up, you can go ahead and get the best value for your money. So, if you want the new Mega Tin version, what's this in Ultra? Super. Okay, even worse. Uh, so this is super. Uh, two euros eighty a pop. Now this is absolutely insane when you consider this was a hundred euro card a year ago. Uh, absolutely wild to me. But it's not really seeing any play at the moment. I do think it's a really good option to potentially pick up. Uh, you know, for going forward, it could be a good side deck option in future formats. I think it's not even terrible at the moment. There's just better options right now. Um, but it's still a really good card that you should have a play set in your collection. So again, around the 280 to 3 euro mark is the overall goings on Phantasme from the Megatins, but let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other rarities. So the Ultra version has absolutely tanked, as you can very well see. These were 10 euros a pop only a month ago, and yet here we are now, 4 euros 95 the cheapest, and around 5 euros or so going upwards. I do think that these will continue to go down a little bit. I think this is certainly a better pickup than the Super Rare, but of course, Secret is really what you want to look out for. And as discussed, Secrets, around €20 Euros a pop. I think this is actually not too bad, considering you can get first heads for around this. I think this is a really, really good price point. Uh, it's something that it's going to be one of those kind of cards that people sort of want to show off down the line in the future. Uh, one of those sort of format-changing cards, format-defining. Phantasme, incredibly important in the last year or so. Uh, and again, one that I think you should absolutely have in your collection. Next up, we're taking a look at Cynet Mining. You can get these as cheap as €1.35. Insane. Again, a year ago, this card was a 30 plus euro secret and then some uh, and now it's as cheap as this this is again another one of these cards that's really really good to have in your collection um cyburst archetype just continues to get more and more support uh, and unsurprisingly this will of course become more powerful as and when they do uh salaman great obviously the best option of those not seeing much play at the moment however if they do start to see play again you'll expect these prices to go up i think a, a euro a piece pretty much it's really not a bad idea to pick up a play set of these if you just want some in your collection and continuing with that, we've got the Ultras here for around €4 Euros a pop from Dual Overload. See, these have absolutely tanked through the floor in the last couple of weeks from around €11 Euros or so, which is what I paid on mine at the time. Uh, and here you go, €4 Euros a pop now, not too bad. Let's go ahead and take a look at the secrets. 
And the secret rare versions around eight euros a pop. Honestly, if you're gonna do this, just go ahead and get yourself the secrets. If you can get them this cheap, 24 euros for a playset. You can get them in secrets in first edition for that, and they'll hold much better long-term value. Uh, I don't see them coming down much more than they are now. If anything, they're more likely to start to recover again, particularly if, again, a solid version of a, a Cyburst deck comes around. Next, we're on to Appaloosa, Fall from Grace indeed. Not so long ago, this card was absolutely insane, and now you can get it for 13 euros a pop if you don't mind getting the cheapest rarity out there. I think this is a really, really solid reprint, and players rejoice if you're on a budget. This is a card that you absolutely need to have in your binders at the ready for when it is needed. Again, at this price point, I think it's absolutely fantastic and something you should definitely consider picking up. Contrastingly, if you look at the secret rares, they are still a minimum of 30 euros a pop. And again, this is just testament to how strong this card is. The fact that it now has three printings in total and another one coming up towards the end of the year. And these are still a solid 30 euros with no competitive play in sight. Simply locals and that kind of thing that people are playing around here at the moment. And they're still 30 euros a pop. And then, of course, the Ultra Flex of the Starlight Rare. No, not Ultra Rare, Starlight Rare. Ultra Flexing with the Starlight. 700 euros at a minimum. These also go up, as you can see, towards that 900 euro mark. It's the going rate. I think, again, Starlight's going to be one of those things that hold value long term. If you can wait and hold on to them, absolutely do. This is a playable one, though, which is part of the reason it is so expensive. So do keep that in mind if you're thinking about holding on. That If this does become unplayable for any number of reasons the price will likely come down next run to pot of extravagance the tin versions 25 euros a pop unsurprisingly this has continued to hold value pot of extravagance is a really really solid card that again you probably want in your binders we now have multiple printings of this card and all of them have kept some good value i believe you'll probably be able to get the ultras a little bit cheaper now but there is still two secret printings out there so if you don't mind which one you want to get this will probably be a little bit cheaper but we're going to check and find out for you now Okay, so we're on to the collector rares for you. A minimum of 150 euros and heading upwards. Uh, again, not really surprising just having that nice extra flex. This is technically the highest rarity that's available, although I personally prefer the secrets, but there you go. Collector's rare out there though, 150 euros at a minimum, and you're looking between 180 to 190 on average. The Ultra Rares, 23 euros and then 25 and upwards for the most part. Actually, to be honest with you, if you're going to go ahead and do this, Secret really is your best punt in terms of value for money because price-wise, it's not really a whole lot different, but it looks a hell of a lot nicer than the Ultras do. Let's go ahead and take a look at the original print card and see how that's getting on. Okay, and the original printings in Secret Rare are still a minimum of 35 euros. This is going to be just like Desires. It's going to hold some value for the long term. This is absolutely fantastic. It's such a free draw in so many decks. It is worth noting at the moment there aren't an awful lot of decks that take advantage of this. So don't be surprised if, again, these start to creep up over time. And next up, we're taking a look at Borrowload Savage Dragon. A much-needed reprint. They should have got the ulti treatment a long time ago. Yet here we are. We finally got it in Secret Rare. I think this is a really nice pickup for 11 euros a pop. These were 8 euros when I first got my Ultra one, and I told people I wasn't getting rid of it because it was going to be a good card. And lo and behold, it's become one of the most important defining cards of this new Master Rule. And here we are with it at 11 euros a pop for you to own. Let's go ahead and see what those originals are doing now. And the originals are down to 14 to 15 euros. Don't be surprised if these actually creep up. I know the Secret Rare is technically a higher printing, but people like their original prints. So over time, people will pick up the secrets, and then I want to go back to the Ultras for that sort of original feel. We saw it with so many other things. We see it with the Thunder Dragons. We've seen it with a lot of the Dangers and all of that. So don't be surprised if this starts to creep up again. Next up, IP Mascarena, again in Secret Rare, looks absolutely fantastic. This is one of the best looking secrets in the set. And for 10 euros a pop, this is really not a bad purchase. Again, a link card that is absolutely playable in the modern game and will continue to be playable in the modern game. It is one of those things where it gives you an interrupt. It's very, very easy to make in so many decks. And as such, it holds a good value. Now let's compare that to the Starlight, which is a nice, cool 650 euros a minimum, 700 plus if you go any further down. Let's go ahead and take a look and see how they're doing down there. Closer to 750 across the board, so actually this is probably not a bad purchase considering you can get all three of them at 650 each if you're the kind of person that's willing to sink that kind of cash into the game. But let's go ahead and look at the original printing and see how that is doing as well. 
Okay, so the original printing is around 13 euros a pop. Me personally, I think the secret looks so, so much nicer. Absolutely worth saving yourself a couple of euros, unless, of course, you are very bothered about having the original print. If you're not and you just want the highest technical rarity, as opposed to the rarest version, you want to go ahead and get those secrets for a little bit cheaper. Okay, and we're on to some requests now. So Gem Knights Dual Terminal were requested out there. Uh, I've gone ahead and done a few of these for you, just some of the ones that looked a little bit more interesting. Garnet, the most important of the Gem Knights, since you'll open it every single game. €2.45 and upwards around €3.00. Euros if you look a little bit further down, but they do trend all the way up. These are actually bottomed out quite a bit on price. If you look along here, they haven't really seen much increase over the little while. They've actually been bottomed out for some time now. Gem Knight Fusion holding the line quite nicely at €3.50, Euros and 50, around 450 on average is, is the going rate there. Uh, you can see that these have been down and been up, but they're actually holding about a midway point at the moment. Kind of unpredictable as to where they'll go. Uh, this is kind of up to you if you want to sell or buy into these at the moment in time. But again, €3.50 Euros and 50 upwards. Gem Knight Lazuli. So we're seeing these at around €4 Euros a pop. These are actually held pretty good value across the board in general. Uh, closer to 6 on average. They have been around the 7 recently. So these are actually down a little bit overall on what we'd expect to see. Not a bad price at all. Probably because it's a rock. So I guess there's probably some sort of fringe benefit from there. Uh, that you could potentially tie this into one of the rock decks I guess. Next up, we're on to Master Diamond, 7.5 euros, give or take, uh, and then pushing upwards. The overall price trend has been down, although we've seen it yo-yo quite a bit. If you look at that marker, it is gradually coming down. Again, not really seeing any play at the moment, so if it is something that you want to pick up, the old Gem Knight deck, this might be something to consider. And next, Gem Knight Prismora. We are seeing these at around €3.50 or so. The 30-day average is at €15. Euros, so what's happened there? Who knows? They are now super, super cheap at the moment. You absolutely won't be paying €15 Euros a pop for them. Uh, they are now down to €3.50 Euros and 50 on the whole. One of the other requests we got was for the 2018 and 2019 Celebration promo sets. These are the, uh, one is Monster Reborn and Red Eyes or something like that. And one is Blue Eyes and Dark Magician, I believe. So this one is currently three and a half thousand euros is the going rate. Uh, these are going all the way up to five and six thousand euros. These are almost impossible to pick up. The price trend has been much lower, so we've seen a massive spike recently. Uh, I'll be interested to know why this is happening, so if anyone does know why these have been getting swiped up at this lower end so much recently, especially in the last few days. If anyone could tell me what's going on there, that would be great to hear. These are quite a bit cheaper, around 1,300 euros. Uh, again, still not super cheap, but the overall price trend is upwards. Um, just a couple of months ago, you could get these for closer to three, four hundred euros, and we're now seeing them for fourteen hundred and upwards on the whole. Okay, so we're looking at Triple Tactics Talent, one of the important cards from the new set. We have seen this overall come down, although it is very strong. I think that a lot of people have decided that it's not quite as powerful as they had hoped. On paper, it's incredible, but of course it only really works particularly well in a certain type of deck, which doesn't necessarily suit everyone. In any case, it is a, is a staple, so don't be surprised if the prices stay at around this mark. 50 euros a pop, all the way up to around the 55 mark on average, I would say. Uh, expect this to settle around here in my opinion unless of course you're the kind of person again that wants to flex starlight rares 389 euros and upwards closer to 4 to 450 on the whole uh, again these will probably be something that goes up it's a staple it's going to be playable for the long term and of course it's a starlight rare so it'll hold value by virtue of that Another request we have is Mist Valley Baby Rock. Uh, these are currently around €1.35 if you want the Hidden Arsenal versions. I know that the other ones are doing a little bit better, so let's go ahead and check those out. And the dual terminal versions are all the way up to eleven euros and ninety. Does anybody want to <laughs> explain to me what the hell is going on here? Another request, Chaka 9. These are around 8 to 9 euros a pop. Uh, these have been a bit of a weird one. They are one of the ones that holds a bit of value because, again, singular printing and people get excited about Zodiac every now and again. Uh, the overall price trend it is actually down slightly, a couple of euros or so. Um, so actually probably not a bad time to pick them up if it is something you're considering. I really don't see this getting a reprint anytime soon either, so we can expect that this price is likely to continue to yo-yo over time, but most likely to increase.
And our final card for today, Orchestrate Return, still on that single printing. Weirdly, I would have thought that we would have seen this again at some point. But yet, yeah, here we are. It's not out again. Uh, so 10 euros a pop is the minimum. Uh, I think this is pretty much where it's been forever, it feels like. Um, obviously, when Orcus has had slightly better formats, we've seen it go up. But for the most part, it's sat uh, around this area. Not too bad a price, in my opinion, if you do want to play Orcus, although they are in a kind of a rough patch. Um, but again, single printing cards, they always do hold their value. So that is all for today's Market Watch. Hopefully you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed producing it for you. We come back to you every single Monday night with more of the same. So if you are interested, definitely stick around for more of that. We do also do other content on the channel. I do deck profiles, combo tutorials, how to play videos, uh, and all that other jazz that you YouTubers are supposed to do. So if you are interested in any of that, please make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out. Thank you very much again for checking in, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next one. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.